barely a mark on Zed Merrick's chest and stomach. It's hard to imagine that just four months ago he suffered severe second-degree burns. These were his injuries after he knocked over a cup of boiling hot tea. He was rushed to hospital where his parents agreed to a pioneering operation involving some of his own healthy skin cells being sprayed onto the burns. Within weeks, he'd fully recovered. The alternative would have been a skin graft and possible surgery every few years. I thought he was going to have a uh, scar in for the rest of his life and to see him now with his chest almost completely clear is just fantastic. It's so amazing to see him so happy and so clear and with such a positive future. The process is quick and simple. A surgeon removes a sample of healthy skin around the size and thickness of a postage stamp from near the area to be treated. That's then placed in a processing unit where growing skin cells are suspended in liquid. Damaged skin is then removed and the liquid sprayed on. The cells in the spray quickly multiply so new skin develops within a week. A two centimetre square skin sample is enough to treat an area the size of a piece of A4 paper. Zed received his treatment on the NHS at this hospital in Wakefield. But one of the barriers to it becoming more widely available is the price. Zed surgeon says it costs on average £5,000 per patient. When we've treated a patient in this way, the patient is healed and treated. End of story. Uh, whereas with other treatments, the patient may require much further and ongoing treatments in the forms of skin grafts and scar revisions. So whilst there is that um, upfront cost, um, we've actually saved an awful lot of money in the long run. The success in Zed's case and others is leading doctors to develop the technique for use in other surgery, so fewer patients are left with permanent scars. Becky Johnson, Sky News.